Uh, speaking of movies, we got Polo out there. Oh, that's right. That's he did a movie. He's a wow. Ron Fez guy, though. He is a Ron Fez guy. Are we um, acknowledging that it's a Ron Fez guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, how did this come about? It's right. Well, because he has a, a, a motion picture. But wouldn't he just uh, go on Ron Fez and promote his motion I picture? I believe he is uh, doing that too. But I see. I went on to Ron Fez. Yeah. And I started talking about um, Paulo and his his uh, film. Yeah. Um, and I had you know, uh, I guess a review. Yeah. Of it? Did you see the film? Uh, m some of it. Okay. I've not seen it. All right. I saw some of it. Okay. I heard you. Um, and um, you did. Yeah, I heard it. All right. Really good. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it got to the point where you know we had seen it. Uh, um, Sam has seen it, I believe. Some of it. Sam, you uh, like Sam? The movie? You saw it. Let's see uh, what Sam thinks of this movie. Uh, Louis is a filmmaker. He, he could appreciate yes. a good film. Mm -hmm. yes. Sam? I was able to see the whole film last night. It was terrifying. It's a oh, horror movie. Oh, terrifying. Terrifying. Oh, gotcha. Terrifying. Fying. Gotcha, yes. It was long at parts, <laughs> but... Long in parts, huh? This way, yeah. One part would be longer than another part. It was. <laughs> the first hour was a lot longer than the second ten minutes. <laughs> I um, I assumed that it was going to be one of those so bad that it's good movies, especially since most of the cast uh, I know. Oh, really? You've seen them walking around these very hallways, and um, that you must know, must be amazing. You then. just know them, <laughs> not as actors, but as just. Interns and people <laughs> and fucking friends of the show and fat little English people that sell fucking t-shirts with tiny heads, <laughs> little heads and no brains, stalkers. Uh, yeah, stalkers. Mm -hmm. uh, so I figured, yeah, at least I, I, I'm in on that. It'll kind of be funny. It didn't catch me like that. He's yeah. right there. Listen. Yeah, I, I <laughs> didn't right get there. it. I didn't get the point. Oh boy, you may want to. I I didn't. Um, I I thought it was horrible. Well, should we, uh, dude? I, want, I I don't know. Can we ask him questions? Paulo, uh, sure. Yeah, come Paul's on in, Paul. In. This is Paulo. Come on in there, Paulo. The uh, uh, the writer, writer director, director, star of the Orson Welles of Gap. Yes, the Gap <laughs> of Gap. The movie's Sorry. called Gap. Gap. Wait, well, I want to start by saying Paulo. Now it's been obviously many years. I said they, re they replaced the G. With a CR, and you might have it. <laughs> a movie. That... Paul. Yeah, it's Paul a spelling o. joke. Yeah, we like that. Yeah. It's been many years. <laughs> oh, crap. Just to bring everyone up to speed, the last time you were on our show, what was it? Was it the Sandy well, Kane kissing of the. What uh, hap yeah, Twato. what happened is over the years, we've had encounters with the Sucky Bed event, and then, of course, the Enema Show, and right, the, the, the Twato Show, various things over the year. But I've always respected the uh, fourth wall. The imaginary fourth wall between Ron and Fez and Opie and Anthony. I, I just figured there was one. I don't know if there is one or not. That there, uh, that there, I don't uh, think that's the, a good use the of fourth wall. shall <laughs> never meet. No, I, 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 don't think, I think it's a terrible use of fourth wall. Well, yes. it's, it's maybe the mind thing that I'm thinking. No, that doesn't happen. <laughs> is that like you mean? Fourth wall is where you're watching the thing and you imagine there's three walls to the, right, uh, to yeah, the, to the show and that the fourth wall is the audience. It's torn you're down. So correct. some sort of a, you know, some sort of a barrier between Ron and Fez of this show. That would not be any kind of a fourth wall. No. no. That would be one wall. It would be a fourth estate. Well, unless they perhaps. were the audience. No. If Ron and Fez were the audience, right. they would, the fourth wall would be Ron it and Fez. It could be the fourth wall. In, in yeah. any case, I've been You with, saw a separate kind of thing. I so. thought I should uh, honor something. I don't well, know what you I know what it was. It. That's what, well, we, would, we wouldn't have you on to do... You're, you know, let's have Paulo do movie reviews or things like that because that's your Ron and Fez guy. Right. But since you put out yeah, and there's a fourth a wall film, between the two shows, and there's a fourth wall and there's <laughs> yes. no door. That's yeah. what I. So thought. you got to go through the duct tour. Oh, Maybe God. it's just a bay window or something. That's what I'm thinking. So, but in any yeah. case, I was doing Ron and Fez since mm -hmm. the '90s. Yeah, just keep trotting ahead with this it's as fine. a movie <laughs> reviewer. Yeah. And yes, so yes. people expect me to know movies in and out, and then mm. they have an expectation that this should be like Citizen Kane, Gap. Well, Why? no. Why would they expect that? Because oh. you're a movie reviewer. <laughs> I, Why would anyone expect a movie reviewer to make anything that is like Citizen Kane? Well, I think they would expect that I would have a full knowledge of movies and a full understanding no, of what a movie should be. Not oh. Really. No. Oh. Well, how long no. did it take you to make no. the movie? Okay, first of all, this was an experimental movie, and it took three days to make. Experimental <laughs> three movie. Days. <laughs> three days. <laughs> 
<laughs> Louis a filmmaker. Three yeah. days? Yeah. What fits. do you think of a movie that only took three days? Three days. And how much time it usually takes? Yeah. <laughs> and how yeah. long is the movie? It's an hour and 23 minutes. So it's, so it's not like it's like a, a short, like a five-minute short no, that you throw together. We cut it down for three hours. <laughs> what? Yeah. So there's three, three hours. hours. Shot an hour a day and then edited out half of it. <laughs> they edited it out Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> hey, is there a director's cut? You know, we ever be there, available? Well, here's the problem. There's actually, oh. before we start promoting this movie, I have to honor the Ron and Fez, Opie, and Anthony community. So because essentially this movie should only be released with no knowledge of what this is. So we put out right. the Director's Cut Collector's Edition well, don't worry. Now. If you see it, you won't know what it is either. <laughs> and then we're going to put out the basic edition. Do you want to market later. this to the movie theaters? No. I don't think we can because I have no money, but... You know, is I, this is just some he burns you a copy <laughs> on his map, no, we have, yeah. um, and he writes you, hit the name of it in Sharpie on the actual yeah. disc. All right, first, first thing I'd like sleeve. to say is please go to GapTheMovie.com because my life is completely fucked up. <laughs> it's hard to know that. So we need you to buy. No, this I movie. heard you on Ron and Fez recently. It sounds like you're getting your life together. You got a new girl. Is the oh, new girl thing over already? No, that's actually the one good thing in my life. My because life, you married. I think I was at one of your weddings. And you married somebody who left you to go to England to be with somebody right. else, right? A lovely girl, Melly. Yeah, Melly, uh, right, sure. But she was obsessed with this guy who was in prison for years. <laughs> so why would you marry someone like that? Because I, I thought we worked through it. <laughs> I mean, well, it takes three days to shoot a movie. <laughs> yeah, you're and you could ask, sort of apparently not. Out there, well, he got out of prison. How long prison. did it take for her? Oh, he got out. And then he says, I need you. I'm drinking myself to death. So I bought her a ticket over there. She was going to help him out. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, you bought her a ticket? <laughs> you didn't think she'd fuck him or anything, right? Anybody kinda, whose name is Melly. We kind of talked that through. We worked it out. I thought we worked it out. What did she, she say? Fuck it. She said, no, no way. I'm going to help him. That has to be the worst name I ever heard, Melly. 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 It's, Melly. It's, it's just even if you're trying to be nice. Yeah. Yeah. You go, hey, who's on the phone? It's Smelly. <laughs> she looks, it's like, going to be Smelly. It's Smelly. smelly. So, even if you're not trying to call her Smelly. Actually. So she, she wasn't going to fuck him. She was definitely fucking you, though. <laughs> and it was, it, it, oh, and that's Wait, not Paul, even, hold on. How long did you, is an open-ended ticket, or how long were you sending her for? To I help the guy. Two weeks. Two weeks. Uh, two weeks. No, so she didn't need the return weeks. ticket, apparently. So, oh, oh, boy. <laughs> so he, was, she someone, was he someone she had fucked before? No, they had this thing. Oh, oh God, it's so freaking complicated. I can't even go into oh. it. It's platonic. No, you, you, sure. was this, yeah. you know, platonic, it, was a, huh? it was extremely obsessive love, oh. and there was a lot of spooning why, why did, involved. Hold on. Why did, spooning? Why did she get obsessed with the prison guy to begin with? Did she know him ahead of time? Oh, yeah, yeah. He was oh, a okay. filmmaker in England. and uh, a filmmaker. In a filmmaker. What kind of films? Filmmaker. Oh, Snow films. What, yeah. what? No, I, and uh, they, he actually worked with kids. Um, uh -oh. Oh, <laughs> filmmaker. I don't know why he was working with August Productions. No, oh, Uncle Paul. <laughs> oh, that's. And, uh, and whatever happened to put him in prison, I believe it was completely innocent. And all honest, pictures. Oh no. Well, what did they say? Innocent. Innocent. Yeah. What did they say? It was an offense of that nature. Of, of pe pedo shit? No, but it was Child not. There was no physical contact at any point. He jerked off in front of them, no, right? No, no. He was helping. He shit in their mouths while they jacked no. themselves. Yeah, what was the Wait, charge? he spent time the in prison. It's, it's similar to fraternizing. He made cummy on a, on, a, on a cracker and the baby. It would be it. a similar to Frat Night. <laughs> he was helping. He was helping to film He was helping a person children. who was abused. Uh, who were inappropriately being filmed. He was holding the boom And he the was trying, and he was meeting them at restaurants trying to counsel right. them. There wait, was no... The boom was a cock. <laughs> yes. wait, wait, I swear to God. Like, wait, wait, wait. I'm not he, trying to... He would meet him at restaurants. Down. Hold on. What? He would meet him at restaurants Chuck to counsel cheese. because they were being abused at home. Sure. And that's against the rules when you are working with kids, and yeah. so that's what he went to jail for. Uh, so how did he go to jail for? Mm -hmm. So he's like eight months. Because he was fucking um, them. He's years. obviously a kid toucher. Why yeah. can't you admit that? Yeah, what's wrong with that? I mean, I'm they, they got him on something. So the kid goes, I want to... My dad's touching me. I don't know how to how to get through this. And he goes, why don't you meet me at the Olive Garden tonight? Yeah. And... Let's uh, talk about it there. Won't that be yeah. easier? Yeah. yeah. In a table case. you can jack me off under. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get back to Captain. What is you, oh, no, 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 no. What, what's wrong with you that you would allow your wife to go to England to be with this dude? Far I'm more too nice. I'm too fucking nice. I'm a fucking idiot. What I do know. you want from me? 
<laughs> Wait, your wife wanted to go chit chat with a pedophile she had spooned with, and you bought her a plane ticket. Yeah, yeah. I'm an idiot. And you wonder. Mm. Yeah, she's in the movie anyway. My ex-wife is in the movie. That's one of Dawn's. Uh, uh, also, one of Dawn's failure marriages. Oh, great. We had a great relationship, yeah. but there was always no. This my Dawn. my sister uh, uh, actually Paulo. did the the ceremony. Oh, she's, Paulo and Melly. Oh wow. She is. Do you um, miss Melly? I, I do. I love her, and I love this Melly I'm with. So I'm very happy. With it's that. Would you take Smelly really back? Smelly. <laughs> this is the point. I have moved on, uh, and I do know she's fucked up. So oh, Melly? No, yeah, Melly. So there's no point. I have a much better person now, a much... For now. A widow I mean, woman. You're going to mess that up. You know, yeah. who's, who's perfect. <laughs> what happened to you? Perfect for you. Did you kill your wife, or... How did oh, that Jesus Christ. Well, Jesus Christ. Christ. Oh, no. <laughs> little, uh, now, Gail, what? we know the... the oh, I, I want to know some answers the, today. The late Gail O... Was, uh, she's in the movie yes. as well. Yeah, she is in the movie. It was a little, oh, that, that was a little distressing. Too? Yeah. Did you drive her to well, kill herself? She had a lot of mental problems. <laughs> what? what? I'm, I'm crazy. Uh, she had a lot of mental problems. Oh, she was on a lot of medication. Did she kill herself, really? And uh, Aronica Fez would have her on the air every so often, and she mm. just would be manic. Yeah. yeah. Manic. She would screaming be, and yelling. Some and days stuff. she would be okay. Other days oh, she's yeah. screaming and yelling, and, and uh, Paulo's in the background just, you know, uh, yeah, taking I'm all kinds of abuse reviews. and do, doing movie reviews, mm. and and then to see her in the movie was a little distressing. Uh, what and it had nothing to. It was like the <laughs> Bella Lugosi scene <laughs> in fucking uh, in Plan Nine from Outer Space. Did she die when during he's the in front of the house and just kind of <laughs> right? You know, Did there's she no die reason. During the filming, uh, Gail, the three day filming. <laughs> I was with her for th she came, <laughs> and as a matter of fact, we segregated her in another hotel when we were doing the. All film. right, but you're oh, fast yeah. forward, and I need answers. So no, this was how much did she, later. How did she kill later. herself? I've known this guy for four minutes. I want to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm but gonna Paul, guess he had something to do with it. But Paulo, how did she kill herself? I don't she know. She had had an accident uh, where she leaped off a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> leaped. That's not a nice not fall. You leaped. Leaped. <laughs> There's no accident involved if you're leaping. <laughs> well, I had put the drugs on the top rung uh, of no, some. I'm kidding. Oh, no, I swear no, no, to God. This guy is I swear no, 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 no. There's no, no kidding oh, here. I didn't ask for these. I swear to God, she. Oh, as long as you got them. I was. <laughs> I might be having one. one donuts, really. oh, oh, donuts, donuts are pretty good, right? Donuts. Oof. That's weird. I never would have asked. For Thanks, these. Ken. So weird. As long as I don't <laughs> want to be rude. Those, Those donuts, donuts look so good. Look what they did to me. <laughs> what are you doing? I want a donut so bad. He's, <laughs> Dude, he's got a rod. <laughs> that's a great. Donuts and sushi is a great combination. Oh God, it's not low. That's wonderful. No, wow. it's not. <laughs> it isn't, though, is it? Because they are very contrasting tastes. You know that. Oh, you hole. <laughs> All right, listen, listen. This story is too good. So yeah, let's yeah, focus right. back here. So right. just so one, one, one side. Yellow died. Yeah, yeah. So, so you put her drugs, that, right. her medication, or these were illegals? All, no, they're all legal. Well, they're all legal because they all came Nobody from pharmacies. Milk. But she was right. over-medicating no. herself? Oh, yeah. All right, so, Andrew, Andrew, so, so you put the drugs up on the top rung of a ladder? And no, where was top, this ladder? Let's say about... Oh, she used the ladder. Yeah, she used the ladder. All right, and where were the drugs? I'm sorry. They're way on top of a, uh, like a, a bookshelf that may be nine feet high. What How kind of drugs were in the house? You have nine <laughs> foot tall. bookcases? Yeah. <laughs> it was tall. Fucking bookcases are there. <laughs> I was a double stacker. How did she know they were there? Because you told her? Or she was searching until she no, found them? No, she's searching. She's, yeah. she's crazed. And she needs the drugs. Yeah. And I decided at that point she needs <clears throat> she doesn't need the drugs. You know, she needs uh -huh. to stop. Mm -hmm. So she gets up on the ladder, and I find her. I went to the store. I came back. I find her on the floor. She uh -oh. broke her shoulder. So she had to go to the hospital and everything else. Then, uh, later, the She screws. died of a broken shoulder? No. <laughs> Give me a chance. Oh, she broke it with a train hit. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. She thought the screw would have. There was a screw in the shoulder um, that was starting to poke out. Oh, oh, boy. So it needed to be redone. Yeah. Wow, you just bend it over with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I told her. I used to do it. So when she went in uh, the day she came out of the hospital, you know, for the one day surgery for that, uh, late, they gave her more drugs. And then so it was oh, uh, boy. all extra drugs that night. Yeah. And then so she had too much, too much drug. It was a drug overdose. It was a drug overdose. Yeah. She, <laughs> Jesus. And, and I'll be entirely honest with you. Is that um, uh, what happened? Yeah. Her crazy life. I mean, yeah. I spent thirty years with this woman. Crazy, uh, especially the last few years because she had all yeah. these medications. 
The best. She really got to a point of being close to God, and then boring. The, <laughs> a, lot, a lot closer after the OD. <laughs> yeah. All right. And anyway, she's but. in GapTheMovie.com. But, but, so who uh, wants to see a dead girl in your movie? It, 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 that was a little creepy. Uh, like creepy. Yeah, right. I just had talking. integrity after it. And, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and the thing is, her part made no sense. Not that I'm saying that most of the movie made sense. I'm just saying that that part especially. And Dave screaming, too. Dave from the Ron and Fez show screaming. I didn't understand what that was all about. All right, let me let me just very briefly explain the movie. Number okay, one, good. it is meant to go for the horror audience, which is of course this crazy fucked up shit. The more crazy fucked up it is, that's right, better. right. It's also so for, like a slasher movie kind right. of thing. It is also intended for the art house audience, which also mm. is into crazy fucked up. You know, mm. if you're going to talk mm. John Luke Godard, art house shit house. <laughs> <laughs> no it's, art house, okay. So it's kind mm. of a message movie as well. So mm. all the see that's what I was missing was the message. Yeah. Yes, and it, the yeah. message is this movie is hard. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it is what it is. It is a specific thing that was done as an experiment. And and it is about a video a diary of a madman. Of course, part of the problem is a lot of people seem to think I'm a little bit of a fucking lunatic as well. And I well, don't think so. Well, I'll go. Come on. They go. do certainly, uh, yes, yeah, say that. So I've been I've been listening to the the Gap uh, explanation for how many years? Uh, and a half, something, yeah, like, something like, that. like that. I still have no effing idea what this movie is about. <laughs> Saw it. And or you, most of it anyway, yeah. and I have no idea what it's about. It, it, all I see in scene after scene is Paulo <laughs> with some type of a knife, mm -hmm. uh, some victim mm -hmm. poorly tied up in the background. <laughs> yes, very loose. You very even, loosely tied up in the background. Three days. Trying not to laugh uh, <laughs> yeah. as they're squirming and uh, not really trying, <laughs> or the fear isn't really getting there and then a bloodless murder scene <laughs> uh for a horror movie I, well I, anthony maybe he didn't tie them up tightly because the fear the intimidation of who he was yeah was keeping them there and that's part of the or maybe he, or maybe he didn't tie them tightly because it made them uncomfortable they, they weren't actors <laughs> yeah. they were just friends of his well, <laughs> well the fear fear and intimidation would have been the, a good thing to keep the viewer there <laughs> because it didn't work for me all right first of all to defend the movie yes. i honestly believe that you know there has been an it's it's a specific type of movie that you haven't seen before and it kind of taps into that audience hopefully down the road once i Finish marketing to my core audience, which is of course Rod Fez, Opie, and Anthony. I want it to nah, be nah, nah, four nah, people. Nah. You don't have to put Opie and Anthony in there. Okay, <laughs> no problem. Rod and Fez and yeah, pedophile. No, no, no. That's your audience. Pedophile, fucking wife stealers. You know the Blair Witch right. Project. Right. You know the Blair Witch Project is obviously a lot of shaky cam and things. All oh, right, uh, okay, okay. So you kind of were going for some kind of a. This is not professional. Exactly. Uh, professionally shot. It's supposed to be some lunatic mm -hmm. uh, uh, setting up a tripod with a camera before he kills people. Right. Why, exactly. don't you, why don't you just cut your losses and just not promote this movie and make another one? Uh, well, first of all, this might be good. Here's the problem. As you, as apparently people know my life, you know, a lot of problems. Life's a movie. Life's a movie. <laughs> so I have one hundred forty-five thousand dollars in debt, and then I have two houses oh. I can't unload. So I'm I'm not able to make another movie uh, until I. And besides, I have how much did get cost? Oh, not a lot. How much? <laughs> how much? Uh, uh, technically ten thousand dollars. What? How? Why so much? Because yeah, I had to go to New York and we had to get people together and, and get hotels and stuff because you know I had to get, sort of gather people. So your logistics cost more than the actual yeah exactly. taping. And the editing was a little bit. But the I, editing was a little bit. What you, you actually had an editor? Yeah, I actually had an editor. Because who I, was the editor you hired? The governor of New York. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking thing goes uh, on forever. It's, uh, <laughs> I cut it down for three it, hours. From three hours, the scene. With no filter, Paul. Yes, who's a genius? He genius does great work. Genius. Well, using that word again. <laughs> I want to see that. He that scene goes on and on and on to the. It's maddening, <laughs> and I don't mean in a good way. It's not like I was. I was saying I don't mean like watching this and going, "Holy shit, this is great." I was like, "Holy shit, they're still fucking doing this." I left, usually when I, I'm watching a movie I haven't seen before, and I have to go take a piss, grab a beer, whatever, I pause it. Sure. I didn't pause this. <laughs> I just went. I took a piss, I grabbed a beer, I washed my car, whatever. I come back, 
Fucking no filter Paul is still in the chair, loosely tied, with no shirt on. <laughs> Everybody's in their underwear, that's true. Yeah, everyone's in Why? their underwear. And there's some nudity as well, because, you know, they say the foreign markets, you need the nudity. So we Foreign markets? <laughs> what are you looking for, foreign no. jersey? No. Over here, talking? we like clothes. It's Japanese. I need... <laughs> Japanese? Uh, the, the Japanese. The Japs, please. Gapthemovie.com. Get on there. I actually have uh, a... Well, just gonna, change the G to a J, J then. Ron Don't Fez. think it's about them. Well, he go over <laughs> fourth wall. He went over fourth wall. It was like it. Fourth wall. It's no, a, you can never go over fourth between wall. Between a Roy Fizz and Opie Anthony is a fourth wall. I love the gap. Hey, are you familiar with a, a movie called Peeping Tom? Yes, of course. Oh. Uh, well, Louis might be onto something. Louis thinks that uh, your movie sounds very much oh, like, like Peeping Tom. It is. Absolutely. It's the same movie. It's is a that? famous British director who uh, did a lot of who very fucked uh, a wife of some guy and shipped her over. Yes. Right. Oh, he was in prison. I, he, uh, he did a famous ballet movie yeah. called The Red Shoes, but he did the Peeping uh, Tom. Real famous. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no clue. Uh, I, I also just uh, I want to I want to touch on something. Um, the the way it was shot and edited. Yes. Do you, do you or the editor or anybody, who was in charge of the aspect ratio of the movie? All right, there were, uh, the, 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 the whole point is to be as experimental as possible. Right, I understand. Yeah. So you change aspect ratios from I, time. I, I understand. So it would yeah, go from widescreen. experimental film, <laughs> the idea is that you have an idea that you're burning to do as a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. Nobody's really done it before, but they're, 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 you're willing to try it as an experiment to see if it'll work. The thing isn't to go, I want to make an experimental movie. So what kinds of things are experimental? Yeah. You're supposed to start with an idea of a movie that this is a movie I really want to make. I think this would be cool. And even though it hasn't been done, I'm willing to do the experiment. You're starting with, I want to do something weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. How about Which changing like, the aspect ratio that will go. hurt people's eyes? That will just, like, the, the thing is, I'm thinking, if you were going to go widescreen, right. you, then you shoot the whole thing widescreen. And, and then in editing... You make it look like the uh, uh, regular old style TV. What ratio is that? Three, four, or yeah, yeah something, right. something like that. going going that. That and, gets into fractions. But right. But what? It gets into fractions. Well, whatever it is, <laughs> you could have laid the whole thing out so that my television right. wouldn't snap back and forth. It was stretching yeah. and snapping like like your TV knows. Your TV, your 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 uh, DVD players the these days. Sides of it the image, knows yeah. Yeah. when to do certain things to certain aspect ratios. So if you would have just kept it all widescreen and then made it look, it wouldn't have been, it was so distracting every time it switched, mm. my TV went click, click, and then numbers came up on the side, a code, oh, the fucking God. stretch, it said wide. It went, mm. like my TV was freaking out. My TV hated your movie. <laughs> it's, you're, it's, the, the movie is actually supposed to generate hate in every possible way. Mm. It's oh, supposed right? to right. force people, confront people, right. push yeah. people to the yeah. edge. In, lots in of a ways. different way, I think, was the it, intent. It forces people well, to turn off their TVs. Every way I could do. Of course, it I forces people to rent to uh, Peeping Tom, which is the one you stole it from, which is better. <laughs> I didn't steal. See the, oh boy, <laughs> which was better? We, we all steal. See what you're saying? Wait, is, I didn't steal. Uh, well, yeah, you we all the, steal. You and the That's thieves sad. all steal. Yeah. Hey, Paul, we, Paul, what I'm saying is, there's a difference between let's see, you're you're watching a movie about a bank robbery, yeah. and you're like immersed in it and going, holy shit. I'm I'm afraid. I I'm concerned for these characters. There's a bank robbery going on, and then actually being involved in a bank robbery. Right. You're gonna feel um, an emotion. Right. Like you said, to bring out hatred, it's supposed to. But it's the wrong thing in the movie version. It's great if you could bring that out. The physical act of watching it made me hate you. Okay, well, at first it, of all, not the movie. It's essentially an anti-film. It goes against all the film jargon and the film uh, logistics that you're used to. So, uh, you see, in a way, that... <laughs> <laughs> the groaning you're hearing is Louis C.K., a, a filmmaker. Film, right. A filmmaker. No, no, we should I like do what you're saying. Uh, Shut you. it, James. I do. No, we should do because <laughs> Louis is here. Jimmy is an insufferable yeah. prick. Can we, can we get the first? No, he does. Can we get the first scene of the movie and we can Please. watch it? Because I've never seen get any. the first scene up there. Would you mind if we broadcast right, the first scene of this, the of this movie? Paula. You really want to go to the North? Can I say something about? Hold on, Louis here. No, Louis is a brilliant filmmaker. Uh, well, yes. 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 But, but, but fantastic. You're a genius. You're hilarious. Maybe you pushed that he didn't think of. 
And I, it's almost yeah. like he's trying to cut off your legs because what if your yeah. idea is yeah, all of a sudden better? That. I am burning with <laughs> yeah, jealousy. Okay. Right. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but let me just say to Louis C.K. <laughs> it's killing me. Let me just say to Louis C.K. I, uh, I went the wrong way with my career. <laughs> As I say, yes. this is intended for, first of all, this has been uh, developed on air for right. a year and a half, so everybody's aware of it. Not by anyone's choice, by the way. I understand that. That's understandable. But here, it's really supposed to leap out of, like, the shadows, and right. you don't know what the fuck this it is. It makes you want to leap from and a so, ladder. you know, like when you find it <laughs> and have no knowledge like of it. Like your ex there. <laughs> Then you down a bunch of I and, say, what the fuck is this? Paulo, I can understand. I can. I un understand what you're saying about it. Yeah. But it's not. Uh, oh. I understand the it's aspect an ratio is a problem. It does, no. And I did have a camera problem ratio. because I had two different cameramen, so there was a problem. All right, listen, well, two different cameramen. Holy shit, <laughs> Desi Arnaz. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're a little crazy. <laughs> listen, we gotta take a break. We got Paulo. Damn he's it. promoting. Oh. I guess. Gap. Are you doing yeah. something crazy on Ron and Fez today? I, I, I'm always. Uh, you said something about. You said something about your sure. last stunt. Yeah, and there was. Hopefully we sent out a crazy. It's your suicide. Some life coach guy <laughs> sent out a crazy oh, memo guy? to what does the you title guys mean? that I was going to be. What, is, what does the title mean? The gap. Right. Oh, or it's gap. actually here's the message. The divisions in society. The generation gap uh -huh. was the the core issue. Right. Yeah. But I mean, we're always at, we're always divided from always. each other right. yeah. no. on every right. level. Right. What does that have to do with right. some guy in his underwear killing he's, another guy in his underwear? He's, he's torturing underwear. people, sacrificing people, so we the will audience. love each other more. <laughs> oh. So we'll learn. It's like a lesson. I'll so you'll lesson. love each other more. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I think you guys are prejudging it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's honestly right. a social one, message. <laughs> After the break, maybe gonna... I was too stoned when I watched it. Well, maybe I don't know. After, after the, the break, .com. after the break, we'll do after the opening the scene because you got a filmmaker in studio, you know, and, like and you'll get it. an honest review. Okay, really thank you. I, I want to see some of this right. film. And of also, also, you got to show off your horrendous tattoos sometime okay. today. Yeah. Sometime today. <laughs> I hope he's going to stay there. Nice. Uh, wow, boy, we're lucky. Paulo in studio. Oh, yeah. Promoting Gap on our show. I, yep. I don't know what we did to Ron and Fez to deserve this. Well, but, it's the fourth uh, wall. Is payback's going to be a bitch. Huh? The fourth wall is Yeah, that broken. fourth yeah. wall he's still going with, Louie. Yeah. Uh, that is the incorrect use of I fourth wall. I was fucking wrong. I'm sorry that I was corrected. Thank you. But Louis C.K. Louis already explained that that just yeah. doesn't work. Yeah. The movie.com. And I even got a promotional called Ron Fez. If you go there, he'll send you the film, baby. I need to Some people on. are saying that they send money, you don't send the movie. Oh, that was. That's a, great. That's, that's great service. <laughs> people were busting you send balls. money, we don't send the movie. <laughs> in Comment, this case, that is actually it's the, the proper easiest thing. transaction yeah. you'll ever take part There's in. There's some accusations out there, Paul. Yeah. Yeah. You're not sending out balls. the movie. Because that's what people do on those message boards. They bust Why balls. would anybody take the time to make a Complaint that's totally unbased in time. Of course, thing obviously you have been slow on the shipping, uh, well, or not also, even shipping. Paul, uh, is it true that um, one of the backers of this movie was XM Satellite Radio? What? It's not true because it was it was a ten thousand dollar movie. If I could have gotten XM involved, we could have spent twenty thousand. Really? <laughs> you think? That's yes, what I was. Oh, uh, because uh, Sam was just explaining to me that perhaps <laughs> Sam, what do you know uh, on this? XM was involved. I wasn't sure. Yeah, Sam. So I just threw it out there. Oh, I don't know if XM was involved or not. Oh, okay. I, I, I saw Allegations. Th yeah. Yeah. Hey, so, if, frankly, I would love for somebody to become involved. Now, don't you have some kind of a Ponzi scheme going where, uh, as because I, I know uh, people are involved in this, you give them, <laughs> they sell, they sell your DVD. Uh, and they almost work up in levels like Amway. Yes. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Really? I've heard him. He's doing something like this. It is this. a Ponzi scheme. It's Bernie made shit. <laughs> <laughs> The, I, all I'm trying, made off. I'm trying to <laughs> get people in on the ground floor, absolutely, the because this floor. is a movement, hopefully, down the road, when people are not aware of what's happening. Because, you know, let's face it, there are people in Japan and stuff that don't really know what's going on. Uh, so eventually... They don't this, know what's going I just on. I don't know. What? <laughs> what? Right, Why though. do we have to face it? You're, you're, Why do we have to face that? Is that a hard truth? <laughs> and that people in Japan don't know... Let's face it, folks. Let's... <laughs> Let's really say what's really going on here to everyone's the elephant in the room. Yeah. Paul, is that no one in Japan knows about this movie. No one. No one in Japan. I, I look. I, I have a hard time saying it personally, but let's face it. Yeah. People in Japan it. don't know about this yet. And eventually, uh, mm -hmm. I may have to die first, but the movement will eventually take the movement. Hold. Agreed. The movement. It's a whole movement. The movement. Uh, Paul, Paul, uh, just explain to me the business model of people selling your discs. 
uh, and getting money back, and then there's like levels. How does that work? I have various people who uh, so, who who love me and want to do things for me, and so I I say, well, sure, if you sell some of the movies, I give you a little extra. A little extra. Yeah. So they then go them. out and sell online. Yeah. And then they get a cut but, of the money. And they get it. A, a cut. Uh, uh, right now, I've got to see. My life is fucked up, so I'm looking sure. for all the help I can get. I'm not. I, I'm taking a blind eye to anything that's going on behind mm -hmm. my back sure. or on the side. But by all means, I appreciate I I was it. Taking a blind eye to your movie. <laughs> you take a long <laughs> <a> deaf ear. <laughs> you take a long time to answer questions. That's true. Yeah, none it's of that made any sense. I'm evasive. What, what yeah, is that, yeah. Anthony? What are you hearing? You sell like the movie, and then yeah, you... I'm hearing like like he's got some kind of. Do you know anything about this, Sam? This Why are Because he can't. Well, Sam knows a lot about this. Yeah. We have to investigate. I, I fucking hate this guy. You know the guy's right in front of you. I There's hate like you. No, some kind of scheme where he'll give you. Right, it's one of those things like if you sell the movie, you get like. More Two dollars movies back. to sell. Yeah, but then if you sell ten, you get like How three. Per yeah, yeah. So if you sell more movies, you make more money. Sure. Yeah. How, How many copies have been bought? This. I have no. no I know. How many copies about. have been bought? Twelve. Uh, th th <laughs> I need. Yeah. To that's a, That's a quick right. answer, Paul. How many sold? Okay. Uh, at this point, since we really haven't properly promoted, that's why I'm here today. Mm -hmm. We sold like 120. That's not bad. Who are those saps? <laughs> How much a pop? Oof, 120. And, uh, right now we How have them at 1799. Okay. 1799. Price two dollars today with the, the Rod Dark Fest. Knight. Look, I'm a I'm a sole proprietor here. I have I have big bills that I have to pay, and I'm just saying I'm I'm willing. And we can probably even work out a deal with Photoshop Mike, where people in the New York area no, can get a real deal. No. Have you made your money no. back yet? No, of course not. not. Let's all, let's look at the old do the scene. math. 120 yeah, times no. 18. <laughs> Uh, Louis, this is, is for you. Twelve yeah, hundred. This is for you, Lou. It Louis. ain't ten thousand. Yeah, no, it ain't. Twenty-one sixty. We're gonna we're gonna look at the first scene. Twenty-one sixty of, of gap. Is it, that word it is, is there. It, it's the first word was there. The second word is. <laughs> This is the playful is. font choice. It is. Is. Playful <laughs> font. There's oh, lots of going on. Play school font. Yeah, wait, play your... school. Yeah, it is. The... Wait, where's our audio? And then he changes. There is to... rock music. That's actually the. Wait, we need the rock music. <laughs> he writes gap twice. Yeah. Right, well, and that's, that's, that's the shaky you know, friends know. opening. Uh, yeah, the friends <laughs> opening. Uh, friends font. opening font. Like the music stuff. These are all default choices on Final Cut Pro. I'm a monster. <laughs> oh, this is the movie. Yeah. yeah. Oh fuck. I'm a monster. Now. And that's me as a young, co-headed child. War. Life is a war. We hate that's each other. Insane. It's hopeless. It'll never get any better. I wish I could do something about it. So I am. Uh, this is an art film. I, I want up. to do something that matters. I'm watching Make your a movie. <laughs> Have an impact. Fuck Teach. Sake. Okay, Stop. we're in a theater right agree. <sighs> <laughs> Did somebody change the channel or is this still the movie? <laughs> it's still the movie. That's my uh, um, late one. That's the dead anyone. life. That doesn't make me necessarily a nice person, but it just means you don't have to give back what they did to you. Unfortunately, the life they chose. Oh. And it does lead to that. It's and time to make a choice. Mm. Make a choice about what? Well, she made hers. Hit, hit, hit stop. <laughs> you couldn't wait for the truck to fucking pass by? I wish there was a <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> the truck and just cut. There's a truck in the fucking... Let's take that again. This is a video... No, no that's not an that's not a anti word choice. Have you examined it? Yes, I have. And I don't find any true evil in myself. I find a lot of horrible mistakes. I think you need to take a closer look. Um, is this a toll booth on the Jersey Turnpike? No, <laughs> no I made a lot of horrible mistakes, but they were never evil. I, I think you need to take a closer look. She's way. good. Well, if that's what she was yeah, saying, but I don't know really 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 well, well, really 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 She was good before she fell off a ladder and had a shoulder infection. And she wears lots of wacky clothes over the years. If it would save your soul, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Not anymore. It would save my soul and my body. Your soul? Yes. Yes. Okay. I would. Huh? All right. That's all. She should have, okay. She should have filmed her the suicide. Person I lived with forever and lived <laughs> through tragedy after tragedy with, uh -huh. in what seemed like forever, but it had to end. 
Cops in traffic court uh, read the record, read into the record better than that. With her crazy hat. A crazy cop reading into the record what he <laughs> saw you do on the highway <laughs> when you're day. speeding reads better than that. <laughs> I could as as get germs, James Earl Jones. Wait, wait, wait. She found the right, right balance of medication. All right, hold on, hold on, hold you on. You couldn't here. get. We got, we got, we got to pause this. I don't, I got, All right, I got, okay. Oh, you got to pause. Right, I yeah. want to know why, <laughs> if this is some kind of a video. Diary right. of some fictitious right. thing. Mm -hmm. Why did you put realism in there? Like you talk about her, it's really her. She really did do that. She's dead now, and and you you recite. It's not part of a movie. It's like the fucking director having his little home movie and a, and a little comment yeah. at the beginning of a movie. They always say that you write what you know. I mean, you didn't write <laughs> what you know. You put down. It's a, it's a whole movie. <laughs> it's a, that was a whole movie. So it's she a, talks like she talks like he does. Everybody yeah. in the movie is just this rambling, never <laughs> sentences that literally don't begin. <laughs> it's a, it's a, some people have sentences that don't end. He has sentences that don't begin. They just you're, you're, come in, just in the one moment you're not listening to him, and the other moment you are. And you go, how did I get? Where am I? Where am I? It's a quasi pseudo documentary. Oh, oh quasi pseudo. Yeah, it is. Throwing a few words together makes it all better. Quasi pseudo. Right? Document. Okay, now I'm looking at you and you're screaming at Pat. Yeah, it's obviously now. something's going on. Oh, yeah, now something. Okay, this well, is ah! it. Yeah. I'm always trying to clarify my thoughts, make sure I'm right. Are you? Make sure I'm not making mistakes. I mean, mm. there are so many gaps. Mm. Oh, gaps. Cool. Yeah. I see. Now, look at this in the I want to start using okay. music in this presentation. <laughs> We're not going to be so dead, movie. so arrogant, it's just... tasteful, contemptuous, with no heart. <laughs> yeah. No wonder the record industry is being destroyed. If they even call it the record industry anymore, it's not something like that would make me Ooh, commentary. <laughs> Can you stop for a second? <laughs> yes, so, so what's happening there is he's going to start putting some score, some music in it. So he sure. tells the audience, I'm going to play some music yeah. now during this movie. <laughs> Yeah. It'll be like you're watching Jaws and you hear, hey, here comes a shark listening to this piece of music. Yeah. That, that so makes it think, sound scary. Do these go together well to you, folks? Yeah. Write yeah. me a letter what? and let me know. Why did you do no, that? that? Because, uh, exactly, he is commenting yeah. on the fact that he's putting in music uh, that he hates, uh, yeah. you know, this modern, yeah. you know, type record of industry. Death Give metal me music. a break. So he's commenting on the destruction God, of society. Record industry. Why do they call it that anymore? They don't. You're the only one calling it. This. <laughs> yeah, the music he's industry. He's a guy who's obsessed with the generation. Is he? It. Oh, it's a character. I'm sorry. It's a character. It's exactly. a character. <laughs> so exactly. And he's obsessed uh, with the records. Records don't exist anymore. I they... know. It's crazy. <laughs> Just insane, right? It's just yeah. Wow. Right, keep playing it. With All you. right. Let's look. Sale for two million. It's being a high point. That's because civilization is dying. Uh, it's killing music. New uh, civilization, civility, things can't go on like this. So I'm just gonna play some music that everybody's coming. Can't hear you. Yeah. Can't hear you. Can't understand can't what you're saying. Hear you. That requires lives, repeated viewings. You see, this is yeah. the film yeah. that does well, require it. repeated <laughs> throwing into the garbage <laughs> and never watching it once. And the deeper you get it in, it requires repeated, repeated <laughs> attention to the sound mix. <laughs> Let's hear that again. Make sure we can hear what he's saying. Because otherwise, why say anything if you're not going to turn it up? <laughs> oh my God! Go, <laughs> Paul. For that the first th time you listen to, you say, "I got to see." I yeah. didn't hear. No, I got to no, hear. No, 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 you're just no, saying, no. "Why the fuck can't I hear what he's saying?" No, but you're saying that it makes people intrigued and they want to come back and hear what they're saying. That's exactly. I don't even disagree. <laughs> I agree. With I don't disagree at all. Should we go a little more? All right, a little more. Let it run. Uh, the camera's really it's rocking back and on forth. It's purpose. It's doing it on purpose. <laughs> there was some leaves and, and, and the tree branch was pushing the guy. Uh, well, the music getting louder is better. That's good. Now I can't hear me. Why did the music get really loud? And why is there a branch? It, what like, are you doing? Is, he is this supposed to be your view? Yeah, but it wasn't there before. I know. It's got a different angle. Are you hiding from these people? Yes, he is. Kids He's are on your oh. Oh. lust-filled, 
assignation. The idea well. with handheld Just camera, so yeah, it's supposed to be that it's kind of rough shot. It's a chaotic feeling. Yeah. yeah, you have the feeling that the camera's not in a stable ground. It's not sitting there. Mm -hmm. But if you actually shake the camera back and forth on purpose. It's just <laughs> fucking retarded. It wasn't shaky. It was a gentle rock. No, there's no gentle anything. No, no that was a fucking, like, like you were having a seizure. Yeah. Like, no, there was that no... That was you saying, well, I want this to look like handheld camera. Which it would have if you just held Cameraman, it in your hand. Michael J. Fox. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was rock a -bye. It was kind of a rock a -bye. No. Oh, Family man. spills. No. That's a new show. No. You, just, you just shook a baby to death. That's the type oh, of shaking you were doing God. with that camera. Guest but, cameraman Ted Kennedy on inauguration <laughs> yeah. day. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So you're saying that basically you were kind of shaking to give the the, the feeling of realism, like the yeah, person's actually right. there. Exactly. Yeah. It does work. Exactly. I mean, didn't have a tripod, <laughs> so I used a paint shaker to put the camera on. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have a tripod, so I used Catherine Hepburn. <laughs> I mounted it in her cunt. <laughs> Pull up. I think so far you're doing well with the review with Louis C.K. He's good. I think, so far I think, it's really good. <laughs> I think really after good. I'm dead, this will become a huge thing. Yeah, huge you think like, 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 yeah. Like, tomorrow like an art, <laughs> artist. <laughs> because I'm going to murder you, and they're going to find out it's because of this piece of shit. <laughs> All right, let's go back. We're almost uh, done with our review. It's going to be Exhibit A. It's, it's important. All right, let's see what happens. And that's... And neither can I. If you're not blind. Now we will be getting I wish I was blind right now. Some of the nudity coming right up. Okay, oh, wow, of course, wow. abduction of people. I have a, a couple who uh, okay. appear to meet up. Uh, a, a typical, typical couplings uh, in the night. I mean, pointlessness of yeah, pointlessness. Uh, common sexual behavior of modern society, human species. Why is she really laughing in the background? She's not laughing. She's Why is she screaming? She's scared. Oh, she's scared. It's like, it's like she's crying. It's crying. There is you know, there's, there's a naked girl on the couch in the background. God needs to have. She's world, frightened in a pure form, and the only way I can do this is how did she not really think you were going to kill her? That, the need like is you're, to you're that nuts. I would think you were making a snuff film. Is that supposed film. to be a blood stain on the back God's wall there? So I See, that's that. the kind of little details in the repeat Yeah, viewing. little details. Yes. Oh my God! Will pick it up. You're right. I mean, you're going back and forth on the message. Is that supposed to be a blood stain? Yeah, no, exactly. You're supposed to be thinking, is that a blood stain? You're not supposed to be going. Did that idiot really? think that I was going to think that's a blood stain? Did they think for a second that I was going to buy that fucking red paint? As a blood, what did you do? You know, Jesus. It looks like it was done with like a, a thin brush. That's kind of a thematic reinforcement in a way. No, it's, it's not. Subliminal in a, it's subliminal. It's just a mistake on your part to have done such a shoddy job. There's nothing subliminal about it. It couldn't be more obvious. It's, it's yeah. in the back. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You didn't god, want to be yeah. very obvious with it. You just wanted to kind of put it there and let people think about it's, it. And it's it's like it. subliminal. Right, yeah, yeah, please. Something yeah. not do we, subliminal, but like. Do, yeah, we yeah, at least, I got do we at least get to see this girl's tits? Yes. Yeah, right, right, right. right. Who is the girl? Who is the girl? Um, she's actually very good. I don't care. You can tell she's naked. She's actually very good. It's my brother in law's ex wife. Okay, good, good, good. All right, let's go. My ex wife. My sister, we got it. My brother in law's ex wife. And making it as a horrifying experience. That's what I was thinking. To make it understood that all right, you're holding some um, happening. weaponry. Weaponry, this yeah, a, thank you. A, there's a shears and a knife, and, yeah. knife. and I mean, there's also I some long metal. All right, there's, 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 there's let me just point something out. There's a girl, a <laughs> naked girl, over on the bed. We look on her face like, come over anytime, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Instead, we're listening to a fat guy in an orange shirt <laughs> with a horrendous mustache say things that mean nothing. Right, <laughs> exactly. To anyone. This is good camera work, though, because and there's the, a the, light behind no, you, that's the which is oh, the most that's, annoying thing in the world. No, the light is from the camera. It doesn't no, matter what it's the sun. It doesn't matter what the source of the light is. It's behind you your stupid the camera, fucking head. You're fucking painting on the wall. What's it the, is really fucked up. Is that the light from the camera in a reflection? Yeah, then take that picture down. Remember Clockwork Orange? Yes. There was a lot of that kind of stuff. Well, this is just film. like, right. exactly. how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
one of the most carefully made beautiful films ever. But it was made <laughs> deliberately to look like How a porno film. You. It is. This it, doesn't. A porno have... director, you wouldn't get hired as a porno director. I swear if you, to God. If you gave this to a fucking I porn company, they'd go, swear. fuck you. I swear to God. In they Andy's... wouldn't hire you to swab the cum off the floor. He said he wanted clockwork orange to look like They wouldn't a let you fluff film. the biggest, the ugliest fag on the set. <laughs> It's, uh, your instincts are so poor that we don't even want you around here. You're, you're oh, fucking something up. We're talking about the camera work. Oh, <laughs> there's no fluff. Oh, in good it. God. <laughs> Louie. All right. Go ahead. All right. So wait, that, was, that was intentional. Right. It was absolutely yeah. yeah. We want to yeah. see the naked yeah. chick it's at least. It's going to be a zoom. So. All right. She's, right. she's, she's really trying to get out of those ties. <laughs> she's frightened. She's barely moving. I'm a big guy. She yeah. kind of looks hot, she's though. Yeah, she looks very hot. She's very hot. She reminds me of Angel Angel Tompkins from the She doesn't the remind me of anybody because I can't see her because I'm looking at you. <laughs> and you're, we all if you remember, Angel Tompkins was a gorgeous actress in the 70s. Right. Good reference. That's why we're more evil than anything else. Uh, but soon my rambling will be over and we'll do the zoom. Oh, the rambling is good because it shows the state of mind. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, he's getting up. All right, he's getting up. He's getting, getting up with the, with the now, shears. Uh, do the sacrifice for the benefit of the viewers. For the benefit of the viewers. Who's, oh, your I'm turn of the camera. I'm telling them that I'm doing this. Yes. This is, oh, like, man. She's oh, scared. No, wow, she's she's acting. Acting. Dude, what the fuck is she doing there? How do you get a hot girl? Oh, no, she's acting. Oh, no. She's acting. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. She's frightened, though. Oh, turn up that music again. There's a nipple. <laughs> what are you... Are, are you uh, no, looking at the back. Oh, God. Oh. Oh God! I hope this is oh really the back of your leg. I, as I say, I just I, oh now is oh, how's the naked <laughs> guy? What the fuck? You know her name? The All right, just... we could talk All about right, this. Yeah, he killed her. <laughs> well, okay, but he let's go to Louis because Louis, <laughs> <laughs> Louis, Louis moaning <laughs> over there. Now He's moaning. Wait, Louis had a problem uh, with the murder scene, Paul. Yeah, well, let's yeah. Go the back of his leg. We're hearing you going. Eh. <laughs> And we had a, a very good opportunity yeah. to see a nice set of tits, and you yeah. wouldn't even give us that in this crap. And you movie. don't even throw like a just a little jar of blood in the shot or something. Yeah, <laughs> why was there that a bloodless? Would you use all the paint on the wall? <laughs> There's no more red paint. Sorry. <laughs> there was a lot of blood later. We we brought in a guy who was actually good in a lot of. Uh, brought in a guy. Yeah. Brought in a guy. Later. Benjamin Moore. <laughs> <laughs> and we used a lot of the old school uh, effects, you know, where we mix you, things in the you, you must have cut all that. Out. It was late. Because I just saw the back Wait. of your leg and heard you. Yeah, grunting. where's the murder? And like, that wasn't horrifying. It's implied. Was she dead? Implied. At the end of that? Because her, her tits were still moving up and down like she was still breathing. Oh, I thought you said it's a slasher people movie. People don't die right away. They right. even did. Oh, well, uh, when people sure. were guillotined, they even did a study back in the old days about how long the heads would respond. Can we how try long? that now? <laughs> Sometimes 10 seconds. Who did the study? Who funded it? Sure. Guys who were interested in guillotines. Back. Yeah, you know what? You're right. That's the best murder scene I ever saw. <laughs> you just talked me into enjoying I'm it. I'm him over. You yeah. just debated it into a good scene. Holy Instead shit. of actually shooting anything that matters. Oh and I think with repeat viewing. I mean, viewing. Jesus Christ. Enough with ah, the repeat, repeat viewing. viewing. Especially in this day. Yeah, age. repeat viewing. No one has time for repeat viewing. Well, repeat viewing. Come viewing. on. Cut him some slack. So, is that no filter Paul now on your no, couch? No, no, no. Couldn't even take the we shit off the coffee table. <laughs> The <laughs> shit on the coffee table, it's, it's just somebody had to walk over there and just take that off the coffee table, and you can see uh, 90% more of the first yeah. person's face. You, you didn't have a set dresser Our there? Our production designer and decided that this was good because the obscuring sure. of the oh, face. Oh, yeah, blame why, your production designer. And why is your couch covered <laughs> with, one, a, but... with a blanket or something? You didn't want to get the fake blood on your... I There's no was, fake blood. There I, wasn't any. No. Why the why the It's because he's at somebody's house where they went, Don't let the naked person on my couch. It's disgusting. <laughs> right. For your stupid movie. <laughs> no, it's not gonna make any money, you idiot. <laughs> You'll see. All right. Uh should Jeff we move on? on? All right, let's move on a little bit. Why did you paint on my wall? <laughs> now I think we should fast forward to the uh, no filter Paul scenes, oh, especially, especially because this is good though. By the way, this scene right here yeah. is exactly the same. The same camera, the same babble, and the same bad murder, only instead of the hot chick, now you have some fucking guy on the couch. Same same thing. Yes. There was no Could difference. Speak, this is not a murder? filmmaker. This is a guy with a yes. message that he's trying to impart. Well, don't message? do it in the third person like it's not you sitting here with the <laughs> shitty movie. Paulo, do you kill people for real? <clears throat> we just haven't found the bodies yet. Um, 
you know, you know, like he was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he can't answer yes. a question. No, the, the the answer to that question would be no. Oh. You were in you were in Caddyshack, weren't you? Yes, I was. Who'd you play Caddyshack? I was uh, the the main scenes I'm in are in the swimming pool scene. I'm the waiter who gets knocked into the pool, and in the dining room scene, I'm the waiter acting up a storm in the right behind the main actors. How uh, how'd you you had to audition for that? I was in uh, Little Mary Sunshine in uh, in college down in Boca Raton, and uh, that's and not an answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> that's how, and that's they auditioned an the people from that play, and I was the only one who got a. You're the one that gets knocked into the pool. Yeah, I'm kind of impressed. You still get residuals for that, or is it not? Like no, this? they. Uh, you the know, answer to Jim's question was yes. You auditioned though. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't the. Uh, yes. Yeah, exactly. Did you audition for that movie? I w I drove to. Los <laughs> yes. No, we need I an answer. In the sea lot, well, and I we took the ticket for. To but see did you audition? To, excuse me. I went to the office. I told them I was there. All right. To see uh, Ellen Jansen's because she was the one that was casting it. I'm, so did you audition? Let me finish. But so did you then fucking, I took the sides. Did you fucking audition. Me, I'm going to choke the you. the sides off the table, <laughs> and I read. Yes, I when I read for the camera, then I auditioned. <laughs> oh, and I actually went back for a second audition, which oh I God. blew. Oh right. my God! <laughs> Who'd you yeah. blow? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. It was in a yeah. hotel room, and uh, they said right. no. Oh, why don't we uh, continue right, with this let, murder? Because I I got to see this murder now because it's just like it's the like low we resolution. The whole yeah, why is it's like hard to look at? It's very low very contrast, very low very resolution. Very I know damn it's all well. Digi. It's like you aren't trying for this look. You wanted something cleaner. Did you no. want a grainy look? You wanted a no, grainy look. I wanted right? a grainy look. No, you didn't. Why? Not I swear to God, look. I love the grainy look. look. You, that's not grainy. That's not grainy. Shit video that's no, it's called noise. That's not knowing what fucking I kind of file you're putting like, in your computer. Go look at Clockwork Orange. <laughs> that's what happens. I He's edit video all day, what? and when it comes out like that, I go, ah, oh, shit. There's a lot of yeah. grainy. Try again, but you Fuck. don't do things twice. What were you saying about Clockwork Use the wrong though? compression Clockwork on it or Orange some shit. has a lot shit. of graininess. Because yeah, it does. you do it in Lola. Barry Lyndon has a lot of graininess. Sure. They do it with candlelight. Oh, wow. You should fucking shoot yourself in the face <laughs> for comparing those two things. <laughs> oh, my God. He's comparing. You know what he did to make Bar Barry Lyndon is a movie that's shot entirely with natural light. Right. There's no electricity oh, wow. used in the in the movie. Right. right. Stop saying right like you have anything to do with it. <laughs> and the way he did that was Stanley Kubrick found lenses that were built back like the first lenses ever made back when they only had that kind of like he went and did all this research and historical archaeology and dug he up didn't the have to though all he had to do all he had to do was turn was on a do it Paul flip cam did. and fucking yes. and edit it on iMovie. <laughs> With some unlicensed I'm music that you're going to get sued for using. <laughs> and refusing to, and somebody probably said, hey, don't you want to move that light that's glaring? And they're like, no, I, it's okay, because I, 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 I have a heart on it. I want to keep doing this right now. <laughs> I'm just saying there are similarities yep. to Barry Lee. There isn't a single one. Similarities? Oh, wow, I, Louis feels getting mad. Uh, let's get the. Um, yes, let's out of keep the way. going. Sure. Experience at this point in that, uh, the idea for, now, here, I had uh, him, who I, I always feel the male is the guiltier of the species. They're mm. the more bile, the more evil, the real predator, the real source of all that is wrong with society. Did somebody off somehow. camera just we cough? Yeah, <laughs> I did hear that. Can you please roll it back? <laughs> you, did, you really did hear that. <laughs> and again, that we need to sacrifice him. Nobody's respecting the set like they're sitting there. <laughs> no. They're walking, or you can hear them walking around. There was, no, a, there's, there was a cop in the studio here. How did it? That is wrong with society. If, if somehow women could take control and take over, it might be a better <laughs> There it is, somebody <laughs> caught. <laughs> or sneeze. Or I thought him. Again, He's choking in the background. Yes, that wasn't him. All right. Uh, in other words, oh, there's a boring uh, knife again. Would, uh, would, you just, <laughs> would you just use the uh, cam mic? The ass or whatever. We'll see. No, it was a good, like, was a good camera. Most what? Oh, he's acting. Uh, he's it's, acting. Just, it's really not personal. It's just that it's just to uh, this film will hopefully be seen by everyone. No, won't. Society. And yeah, no, you're gonna no, die. Everybody, everybody have, you're gonna have a die shitty day. Enough. Everybody have a shitty you're day. Die soon I'm having a shitty day right day. now. <laughs> you don't even know her name. No, I wish I was him, and really and living that moment. I'd rather be that guy, really tied up on a couch, getting shears in you, yeah, than watch it happen. I was convinced. Let, Let me go. Me. Let me go. I don't know her name. Viewers, I don't know your name. Yeah, you don't know her name. You don't know my name. I'll get somebody. I'll, I'll... 
Okay. I can read another I got was there a script? I, it's really not about the way this was done. Yes or no question. It's a Larry, yes or no it question. Larry <laughs> David. Uh, right. It's a yes or no question. That's right. Was there a script? Well, no. I bought a computer. No. And I, I got final. Uh, I got final draft, which is a script writing program. <laughs> I bought some paper with three holes in in these sides <laughs> and some breaths. <laughs> I, I then proceeded to write to write some. <laughs> so there we, wasn't a script. We had extensive interviews uh, sure with everyone involved um, in the film. So there would be a common uh, ground. When right. when mm -hmm. I interacted with them, I would know everything. I, I, that yeah. they were kind of like everybody working towards the same goal in their own way. In a right. Way. Right. I, was, <laughs> I interviewed oh everyone. And I, I want to fucking <laughs> choke, Jimmy. Why? I want to choke you out. <laughs> I, I actually understand where he's going with McMahon this. Your head. <laughs> I'm not saying that there aren't certain things that could probably be fixed in, in post, but <laughs> I do think that it, it's, it's a lot better. Everybody's just kind of razzing you. Yeah, right. I, I think busting balls is what I'm used that's to on the message. That's true. what makes us funny, sure. Yeah, I, I know what's going on here, by the way. You're going to turn into a real serial killer, and then this movie's going to be like, holy fuck, you know that serial killer? He made. Yeah. That probably would be the best film. way to sell it. Right. you got to be all over the news. You're going to have to kill people, uh, Well, Paula. let's just say we're at the beginning of our marketing strategy. Oh, so there's... The Murder <laughs> isn't out of the question as far as the marketing goes. We are right. at the beginning of it. They this pick is... you up for uh, being a serial killer, then this thing is going to have some legs, my friend. Mm. Some legs. <laughs> let's yeah. let's get to them. Just don't kill me. I right. still... yeah. Soon enough, you're going to be dead, and it's moments away. Moments away, and the pain will be bad for the first few seconds. But trust me, it won't be that long before you are... Lost in oblivion. If this was, let me say something about what you just said. Uh -huh. If this was a filming, if he murdered this person, yeah, and then tried to sell it like as a ghoulish, you got to see this. Even the, he wouldn't be convicted of the murder if this was the evidence, <laughs> because the fucking cops and the and the jury would start watching and go, just turn turn it, let them go, turn it off. I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch this. Well, I was kind of. I don't want to watch it till the point exactly. where I witness the murder and put him in jail. All right. But the dialogue <laughs> was kind of chilling, though. Uh, it was, I guess it's pause for a second. Because I want to comment on his dialogue. Yeah. Uh -huh. Where you're walking this guy through the fact that you're going to kill him, mm. and he's pretty much helpless, and he has to, he has what to hear you what's going to happen to him. What is in your pocket? There? I believe uh, that's my wallet. It's kind of a big wallet. If I yeah. So now, why did you have your wallet while you're filming? Can you leave that on your uh, dresser or something? Yeah. That's cool. Right. Can't be. Oh my God! Let's get to the murder. I mean, maybe let's stop this. We just stop short there, Jim. I'm just gonna carry copies of the DVD in there. But... <laughs> let's look at the back of his leg again. There's a lot more blood later in the sure. movie. Sure. And you know, most most of these murder movies don't have a lot of blood. You, you actually do get a lot of implied violence right. and a lot of things that are pretty terrifying. Where are you stabbing him? You're yeah, showing yeah, his chest and head. Yeah, the, where, where are you stabbing him? He's stabbing working the lower torso. I don't see. No, the look, look, look. There's nothing that. there. It's I don't below see. the camera. Out yeah, of view of camera. Where you stab oh him in the God. ass? Where you stab ass him? Ass and balls. <laughs> ass and balls. There's yeah, no he looks like he's being stabbed in the balls right now. Look at the look on his face. <laughs> look how bored that guy is. He just lay there. You could <laughs> roll onto the floor. You like, could, oh, let me out You didn't have much of a budget, so why wouldn't you use all your blood early in the movie to really get people hooked? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why waste all the blood later <laughs> on when no one is I see is still there watching? <laughs> Louis' groans are the best, like, review you could ever have. It's just, uh, uh, uh. All right, let's see how this Hold guy on, dies. Were you, you trying to purposely avoid the violence on camera because yeah. it's like, uh, yeah, it's got like a, a Hitchcock yeah, vibe exactly, and that's, uh, believe me, you'd be surprised if we listed the amount of films where the violence happens off the camera right. and it's Like implied. what? Name one movie. Yeah, but like, you're not implying <laughs> violence in this scene. You're showing that it's definitely not happening. Happening <laughs> because you're showing the, the uh, vital organs of the person, and so you are wrong. proving that this definitely. You're making it very clear that the person is yelling for no reason. We're not seeing his penis. Well, we don't see you, his If you penis. cut off somebody's dick and ate it, they wouldn't die for three days. <laughs> right. right, thank you, Louis. That's I it. had Jesus. a long metal thing that could have gone up his ass. Oh, oh wow. sure. All right, it's imp implied up the ass. Sure, Let's... you could have made a better movie if you cared at <laughs> all. There was five thousand. It's not even lack of skill. Show. It's just not three, giving a shit. Three days. Remember uh, that too. Well, yeah. it was experimental, and of course, experimental three days. Right. Yeah, that's not how you get reviews. <laughs> Well, we got to give him a break because it you? only took, you know, a month instead of two months to film the movie. 
Uh, you, you look at the what was the, the desperado that Robert Rodriguez did? That was the big <laughs> way that go. they now pushed that. They Rodriguez, no, right. uh, <laughs> no <laughs> moment. Are you comparing you look yourself at that, to Robert? Shoddy. You look at Evil Dead One, very shoddy looking. <laughs> but this is supposed to look shoddy looking. And you, this is what's this, not being acknowledged. The original Evil oh, Dead did kind God. of have like a very low grade quality to it, but the horror was there. <laughs> right, <laughs> exactly. All right, right. Let's, let's get to the murder. What's happening here? Oh, that's it. That's it for the murder? Yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> we have a lot of murders in this film, <laughs> so we need to. Then it comes. Now we're um, uh, down some uh, little lane with trees nice on each side with uh, uh, some uh, chick uh, in and out of focus yeah, from the good. back. She's. Oh. Um, no. Now she's oh, tied God. up. No, she's <laughs> Look at the ropes. You're right. <laughs> They're loose. Oh, the bad oh, loose yeah. ropes. She's already tied the ropes. Right. Right. Don't really move, bad. honey, because it'll be so clear how <laughs> loosely you're tied up. Yeah, that's what else is happening here. She's clearly drugged. Yeah, that's yeah, like how oh, they used clearly. to tie yeah, up the people on Gilligan's <laughs> Island. Like, like when they would, some bad guy would get on the island and yeah. tie him up. Yeah. There's just no realism yeah. to that. And they have lots of money on Gilligan's Island. Yep. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, Let me, you know, the great Sherwood Schwartz. <laughs> yeah, he really, uh, If you looked at some of his works, his the Brady Bunch, so um, Gilligan's Island. How'd you get the hot girl in your film, though? That's yeah, actually who is that? no builder balls, though. Daughter. Is that? Oh, oh fuck God. yeah! She is hot as shit. That's his daughter. Yeah, yeah. He, he's she got hot cute. daughters. I want to date no fold the fold daughter. <laughs> if you look at the side of her face, you can also see the duct tape clearly coming up and off the face. Yeah, yeah. I would have that duct tape off my yeah, cock in there. In a second, Just plow no filter Paul's daughter's mouth. I have to get back to the fact that, uh, uh, all things aside, <laughs> right. this was an experiment. Sure, all I things tried, aside, to, movie tried to do something. It is what it is. And my life is fucked up, so I need people to buy this movie oh. so we can start the movement. I can move on to the second the phase. Movement. The movement. So the gas the movement. Movie Wait, what's the second phase? Well, the second phase would be to be to go out and start promoting harmony and love through fear and death. Yep. That is actually. He's going to start um, killing people. <laughs> I don't know. No, nah, but he's, he's making a social statement, though. Play this tape back someday. <laughs> Paul is going to start killing 5, people. 5,000 a week. How much did you spend on this? 5,000. That's uh, 10,000. What did you do with the money? I know. Where did the money go? You penny of it on the screen. Where the hotel fuck did the money go? You must, have ate, you must have ate well in those three days. Where's this film? The St. Regis? Where the fuck are you staying? Fucking this was up near Woodstock. Thousand dollars for Woodstock. What? Woodstock. How much is a hotel up in fucking Woodstock? It's like ten bucks. What? <laughs> well, we had a uh, like a somebody. You got? Where'd you get the money? Where'd you get the five thousand dollars? Uh, there was a couple of people, and then oh, oh, and then I had to wind up buying out one guy because there was all right the conflicts. Oh god, sure. Well, so you went to somebody. Some here's films. he went to somebody. Said, hey, if you give me five thousand, I'll make a movie. And, and they said, you know what? You're a pain in the ass, but. Uh, you know, I no. want to get. I want to give you this. All right. So they gave you the money. Listen, I know what happened. Let me tell you. <laughs> and you took the money. I don't know what your vice is, but you blew all of it, and then you made this piece of shit with nothing. <laughs> we know that the That's worst piece of crap That's movie out there happened. cost two hundred, five hundred thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. You could have made 000. a lovely movie for five thousand dollars. That's plenty of money. Uh, no, who makes a movie for five thousand? Exactly. He's gonna make a much better movie. movie. Well, you didn't. I. Just... <laughs> <laughs> you spent the money on whatever it is you do. I don't know what it is. I and need one hundred and forty-five thousand right now to pay off my credit card. Sure. Well, yeah. So I'm glad that that's, that's where the I've five grand then went. There's two houses I have to. I can't unload. Right. I've got a horrible life. I've got one. Listen, good woman. I'm sorry, but I still hate the movie. <laughs> so, Paul, who's the girl on the scene? What's what's her thing? She was, again, a, an example of a young member of society who doesn't Ooh, care oh. and yeah. so I, and needs to be sacrificed for the greater good. Yeah. Sure. Greater good. Okay. Yeah. Of what? I don't know. Let's, yeah. All right, let's push play. It won't matter. So in a minute, I slice your wrist, we'll empty your blood into a bucket in a matter of... Now, I'm putting that shirt on eBay because you can tell that that's from the... But it's the ramblings of a man. You're putting the shirt. You were serious right there. Yeah, I haven't done it yet. I don't know. Couldn't even commit with the duct tape. You're right. You believe in that She's on drugs. I really don't even know. She's obviously drugged. You know, he just feels that the duct tape is necessary. To reinforce in her mind that it was coming soon. The point is that then... At uh, one point, when it could be a million years, 
Which is nothing. I mean, Look at her. She, she's eye. like I breathing her through her mouth with duct tape over it. She's like, hurry up and... We'll all be yeah, it's like, oh my God, is this scene over yet? How long am I supposed to heave my breasts like this? Right now you're going to cease to exist. And uh, there is no consciousness. I wish I had no consciousness right now. <laughs> So I do. I oh, they it. waited. She, they cut in for a second. And, uh, Go back to that. Yeah, I know. Isn't that amazing? There was another shot. There was they a different shot. You're actually I agree. To do a cut in. I yeah, agree. That that wow. is. There was a now, little insert cut in there. You, you actually called me on a good point that there really <laughs> oh, should not amazing. be any and, visible uh, editing in this movie. What did you do that for? Did you do that to put together two shitty takes? If you <laughs> <talking>? yes, <laughs> and you had to. Or did you shot. go? Did you want really to be really clear to everyone that that duct tape is not doing anything to restrain her mouth? My editor loved the shot so he stuck it in love the shot my but if editor it's, if it's one my editor uh, if it's one guy that's working the camera what did you your, your psychopath that fucking you know use this final so, cut pro yeah I so you had other shots you took in you went in you got other shots right but, but the point was is that, that was that was an abnormality uh, uh, in the film it's it shouldn't have happened but it, it did and it's a nice show the, the tape, is, the nice tape shot. is up on both sides <laughs> Oh my God. The tape is. <laughs> if she licks her lips, the tape falls off. Yes. <laughs> you can see she's practically sleeping now. She's yeah, because she's bored of this she's shitty movie drugged. that she's in. She's drugged. She's drugged. You're putting her to sleep with it. I've not, it, it. Literally, a person who's about to get murdered is falling asleep because the murderer is so boring. <laughs> It'll be like when you see those beheading get videos, and the guy with the hood is reading the Arabic, and the guy, kneel, you know, the fucking tied up guy turns back and goes, "Can you fucking just cut my head off?" All right, at the, this at, is boring. At, towards the one of the final scenes is when I'm carrying We're a drugged person, I'm sorry, Paul, physically I'm into the scene and then I'm dressing them. Yeah. All right, push play. Consciousness. So I'm gonna cut you now, and. Uh, you're gonna be scared, it's gonna be painful, it's gonna hurt. Okay, so, so don't move, don't move, don't move, because I don't want to cut myself. Okay, see. Oh, you're missing the fake blood. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, is this still moving? Uh, right, so we will be cutting to a dripping scene, actually. Wait, can you go back? Wait, was that he was supposed to be yeah. stabbing her just I think now? he's cutting with the wrong Thank side you. of the knife. Dude, you're cutting with the... Empty. Go back. Were you cutting with the back end this of the knife? This is actually a prop knife. To, uh, he's supposed to cut a wrist. All right. <laughs> watch, watch prop this. knife. Which has, painful, you know, where it's cut out. Watch this. this. So, so don't move. Don't move. Don't move, because I don't want to cut myself. Yeah, go. Yeah, watch. Okay. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> no, this if you're, if it's, knife. Oh. you're using a prop <laughs> knife and you're using the wrong end of it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I couldn't yeah, possibly use it. The, the point hole. of a prop knife is you can cut with the blade and it won't hurt anybody. There's it's made of plastic. Hole. And how come it looks like it's on the back of the knife? It looks yeah. like it's on the back I'm of the knife. I couldn't have been. It was like, up. It's like paint by numbers. There's a hole in the knife where the you stick went? the wrist that in. That fucking knife was a $5,000 knife. That was a $5,000 prop knife. That was also the most clumsy, hey, let's lift this up into the shot. Yeah, let Look, See everybody. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. Look, everybody, oh. is, don't be fooled just by her amazing acting and mine. <laughs> Look I'm at really this doing thing this. I, Look at this thing I bought at the, at the funny costume store. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my, my niece's uh, Halloween costume. <laughs> That we're using in this movie. This is uh, it's nice rope too. It's nice thick rope. I thought it. Yeah, why don't you make it tight so it's more believable? Yeah. Right, let's go. This is worse than like an Ed Wood movie. It it's is not worse. worse than an Ed Wood movie. It is. It is much These are worse. real locations. So much worse. Yeah. It is much worse. Ed Wood movies had had like bullshit. Plots. No, they like had what? sets where the walls were shaking. Oh, yeah, that's crazy, yeah, and right? you have oh, yeah, people coughing here. in the background. <laughs> and fucking... somebody may cough in the middle of a m m murder, serial happen. killing. Cut, print, perfect. There's <laughs> right. three days. Yeah, it's a bucket. The blood. Take a blood fourth. Out, you're gonna feel less and less. <laughs> three, so, yeah, defending just, it like it we only had three days. Take another day. Four days. Terror. You must be feeling pretty bad about. I'm it. feeling pretty uh, bad yeah, right well. now. This is like your last minute on Earth. I wish it was yeah. like last minute on Earth. <laughs> which was the last minute of the movie. Then you're gone. I mean, in the context of eternity. How did fucking no filter Paul yeah, conjure up that chick? Years, the day. fuck is over, that? It's probably a stepdaughter. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that I think you're right. Okay. Now, truthfully. Oh boy, truthfully, yes. <laughs> if you, hopefully, at some point, when this movie is out, 
and people don't it, know about it. Is it is out. They, no, but I know, I know. But at this point, I haven't no really promoted. Gonna, yeah, I haven't uh, really fully promoted, and then, and, right. and, and, and I'm going to continue to promote Recall it. Uh -huh. Ron and Fez. And in years from now, years from now, right? They're going to say people are going to find this movie. And they're going to say, "What the fuck is this?" And it, believe me, that's the reaction that's going to happen with people. They're going to be confused because they won't know the. I say story. it now. We all know. I'm some saying, of the what the fuck is this now? But it's because, also because you know the backstory. But yes. those that don't know the backstory will be more. No, they'll confused. just say some guy grabbed a camera and some friends and made a shitty movie. I think. I think. You see, you think, but you, you get, you're you looking I at I don't know. You're, you're right. Perfect, you're, perspective. You know something? You're absolutely right. Fucking Mall Cop was the number one movie for right. two weeks uh, in a row. Yeah. Who am I to say? Movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Mall Cop. <laughs> and you notice I lost a lot of weight. You look too. good. I what? lost 60 pounds in six months, mostly um, from stress from the divorce. And the, that's yeah, good. good for you. It's a healthy way to lose weight. On the Magic Johnson diet. <laughs> <laughs> can only hope. Yeah. Oh, all righty. Here we so go. Just savor this moment. Just be calm. Mm -hmm. just enjoy it. Just breathe in, breathe out. Let the air fill your lungs. That's what breathing is. Times. <laughs> that, now, truthfully, let well, these out. Oh, oh, let's just go ahead and cue that right there. <laughs> <laughs> as good as any place. <laughs> Drop that right in there. It's as good as any place. It's fine. Holy fuck. Louis is killing me. Drop some unestablished music right in there. Louis is fucking killing me. Just put that anywhere. Oh, yeah. Just drop that anywhere. <laughs> Wherever. Subliminally, you have to use some standard horror sure. effects. Yeah, but you put him in a fucking place where you had a thought. <laughs> you don't just drop it when randomly. When you least expected it. Holy you know, no, I just drop in there. I fully expected it. Nothing to do with uh, expectations. Right. <laughs> fucking... Really? Oh. You weren't expecting that. No, Honestly, God. you weren't expecting that. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. No, I wasn't expecting to have my day ruined. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and you know. Uh, Wait a minute, is this still going on? <laughs> when you can't tell if it's. For the Hold on a second. <laughs> This is a freeze frame on a moment that doesn't matter. <laughs> we're listening to the music. I thought we paused so we could talk about it. Right, but the music just dawned on me. Wait a minute, I'm still hearing that shit music. But it's paused. It's free. You freeze I was frame. Watching Making her people fucking die. check their. People are going to have two remotes in each hand. Okay, my TV's fucked up. My video. My, wait a minute, is it I, did I press pause by mistake? How am I hearing the music when I press pause? If you experience the music. Movie oh, in the proper setting. I mean, here we are commenting on the movie. Yeah. Actually, we're not allowed to experience. Here, I'm actually watching her die, and there is that chilling moment where sure. I'm just watching her die, and that's all. It's nothing else but silence and and the music. Silence and the music. Yeah. Watching her die, and it, oh. mm -hmm. watching. Uh, and you may have thought it was paused, and that's interesting because that's how still this moment is. Oh, it's not paused. No, still you guys right. just aren't moving. It's still the movie's still playing too, right? <laughs> no, no right. I think we've had push Let's play. Oh, okay, now it's playing. What happens up top there? Something it's keep it fucking fucking window dressing that it oh. Oh he <laughs> moved. Oh, some of the blood. Oh no, she's nope. bleeding down her oh, hands. You just, no, she's some not. Of the blood, huh? No, she certainly isn't. No. <laughs> Great. We Thanks. get our fucking wow sticker in, in there. Putting a wow sticker <laughs> in Can we sue? Film. Can we sue Great. that Thanks. he now has to digitize that out on every copy? <laughs> that would rule. Please. Let's do that. Gabthemovie.com. You can use the promo code RonFez. I need you to buy this movie. Trust me, it will. And I would be happy to autograph them down the road. Oh. Wow. <laughs> all right. Well, that now way, that's all right. I do start killing people. It will be something At least more it, it'll, yeah, you'll have a signature on there. That's. Uh... Can you do some kind of stunt for us today? Well, I obviously I had sent a memo out about all kinds of horrible things. So the first thing you could do is have all your interns come and punch me in the stomach as hard as they want to. That'd be fun. <laughs> no, that's, that's, 
I hope it ends oh, like Houdini. You can, you can get 17 <laughs> people. Didn't he die from that? Danny's got well, an email, uh, Anthony, from Paul O. Uh, an email from Paul O. Well, it's not actually from Paul O. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. It's, it's from, according to this, it's from his manager and life coach. Let me get his name here for you guys. <clears throat> Dr. Machine Gun. <clears throat> Do you know a Dr. Machine Gun? Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's sort of a man of What, uh, what medical at. school do you Dr. Machine Gun <laughs> go to? And if you read this thing, which is fairly long, it, it details what could happen to me today under these circumstances. And I was trying to avoid it, but I mean, I'm not going to argue with my life coach. And so, you know. <laughs> what? Who is Dr. Machine Gun? That doesn't sound like a reputable doctor. I, I hope an actual machine gun is your life coach. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So, the, he suggested I do all these things that are like what? Oh, it's horrible. Like what? It's horrible, like piercings and stabbings and all kinds of things. As we get up to a certain sales level, yeah. I would have more and more horrible things happen to me. But obviously, I was sure. telling him that was crazy stuff. Mm, um, sounds crazy. Well, I have a list here. So, let's see. If he, It says here that if, if Paul sold... 10 DVDs, he would get three needle piercings through his arm skin. Another 10 is another three. Another 10, he goes for the legs. And then, so that's that's one level. And then up to 50, then you could slap, we could shave his body and slap him with rubbing alcohol. 75 copies of Gap Sold will pierce his bottom lip. And then, I mean, then the levels get kind of retarded because then there's 100, 400, like he really thinks he's going to sell 400. 400. What's 400? What do you do for oh, 400? Oh, 400, uh, there will be a, uh, this is according, this is not me, these are not my ideas, this is courtesy Dr. Machine Gun. Yes. Uh, there will be a staff challenge where an intern can poop on his head. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come did up you with pay, Did you pay this guy? I didn't come uh, up with Paul, him. did you pay he this guy? He said I paid him. But it's it, he's a very cool guy who wants to make horror movies, and I like him a lot. And we have long conversations at night, and he said, yeah, I'm going to... Hang on, I wasn't finished. Let's see. Uh, at 425 copies, he'll drink fresh, hot intern piss <laughs> with a blob of Big A cum in it. Wait, How really? How many copies? <laughs> 425. All right, let's pull you our might, resources. You might want to hang hang around for 450. Because People are raising their hands out there. <laughs> At 450, they'll pierce Paul's nutsack in four places with a hammer and small nails. And I never really, he said he researched all this, but I never got the feeling that, that I was sure that I was safe under these Are we done with this? No, the similarities <laughs> to Kubrick just keep piling up. <laughs> yeah. No, really yeah, that's what Kubrick did. All right. And uh, just, just, just so you know that this, this very long email, Email. Yes, it's like a uh, manifesto, like Jerry Maguire. Ends, like <laughs> yeah, just like it. It ends with Dr. Machine Gun saying, uh, Paul is a complete lunatic and cannot handle the pressure of even the most simple of tasks. Mm. Yours truly, Dr. Machine Gun. Yeah. I mean, he is a doctor, so he does know well, best. Yeah, he's got doctor in his name mm. and machine gun. All right, Louis, obviously you're my biggest critic right now. <laughs> Because I'm one of three people that have seen the movie. <laughs> give me, give me an honest benefit of the doubt. As if we're not sitting here, you know, busting balls, it's truthfully. And we haven't even seen the No Filter Pause. We've seen a few minutes of the movie. Clearly, if you're sitting down to see a movie, Look, Louis we haven't looked at the whole movie. It's just in hysterics yeah, laughing the right now, by the way. Or the trajectory yeah, right, of what's right, happening. Right. The trajectory. fact that it's an anti-film and all these things. Give yeah. me the benefit of the doubt. There's, there's some right, people. He'll give you the benefit okay. of the doubt. There you earn, you earn the benefit of the doubt. All right. This is with a movie. When you when you make a movie, you earn the benefit of the doubt by people are watching and they go, "Okay, I'll give this the benefit of the doubt." But you, I, whatever the opposite of the benefit of the doubt is, <laughs> instead is what you establish. <laughs> Which is, in a way... Is that you don't give a shit what this movie looks like. <laughs> That's the main thing. But again, if somebody here... I have Look, I've sat through a lot of fucked up movies. Mm -hmm. I've made some fucked up movies. I've taken part in some fucked up production. Before I was in film, even, mm -hmm. there was I was trying to get him to look it up, but he couldn't find it. There was this guy, when I was a kid, his name was David Van Vactor, and I, I worked for Cablevision in Marblehead, Massachusetts, like, covering hockey games and stuff. Oof. And I met this guy through my friend who said, I want to make a move, an avant-garde film. So we brought home some of the video packages from work and shot this guy's movie, which was just him blathering like that. 
<laughs> and uh, he would make a long speech and read a poem, and then he holds up this jar and he says, "Look, it's my piss," and he had his piss in a jar, <laughs> and then he'd go back to reading poems. That's what the movie. Was. <laughs> That's what, so I've like been down this, this road. Film. Okay, yeah, it's a fucking <laughs> epic compared to this <laughs> dog shit. I'd like this to see fucking. This film. But it's every. So, so hold on, let him finish, Paul. <laughs> Jesus. And I went. I was once in Harvard and no, at San Francisco at the Castro movie theater, and I saw a movie that was. Uh, it was called Father and Mother. It was a Russian film. And here's, I'm going to describe to you 15 minutes of the film. <laughs> There's a woman dying, and her young son, who's like in his 20s, is sitting next to her, and she's wheezing, and he's watching her wheeze. And then he says, do you want anything? And she says, yeah, I want you to take me out to the sit in the garden. So she, he carries her out, puts her on a bench, and then watches her there. That's 40 minutes of the movie. Holy I'm not kidding. shit. Like, nothing happens. <laughs> I sat through the whole thing. Because I gave it the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, this is at least interesting. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> Don't mind Jimmy. <laughs> He'll snap Jimmy? up and say something every so often. Oh, there, you <laughs> <go>. <laughs> there you go. Jimmy got all scared. I actually did those. You were frightened. <laughs> all right, so the context <laughs> is that I don't like mainstream movies. I am the I, fucking target audience right. for this kind of film. But, this is shit. I, no, no, no. You I am not I am the movie. closest you're ever going to get to someone who would See, give a shit. It's literally. And the reason is because they, crazy David Van Vactor with his piss palms <laughs> and the fucking retarded Russian, who's mo who I am one of eight people who saw that movie, they really cared about how they made the, it. Didn't mean that they shot it like professionally or slickly. It means that they are with some. They gave a shit. They didn't just fuck up and not try again. Mm. They put some thought. They fucking mixed it so you could hear what the guy was saying. I, this so is just first shit. of all, number one. We know yeah. that this is experimental. Oh film. God, no! Okay, that's we it. know that <laughs> this is going that circle, and we know it's supposed no, it's to look like this. I just got to defend not. his uh, but, art, no, I guess. Fine, and it's, yeah. you, you ever seen <laughs> the early films, the short films of David Lynch? For it again, kids? David Lynch. <laughs> now, how dare you, so, you <laughs> drag him into dare. this? How he dare you drag him has into brought this. up. Names of legendary <laughs> oh directors, God. artsy directors, and and, and, and yeah. uh, like, uh, and then I look up and uh, just see <laughs> that a wow yeah. sticker on a car. What the, did you do? Any second takes? There were not with the no filter Paul stuff because that's all gold. It really is. It's all what? Nice. How bad is the no filter Paul stuff? It's so it goes on <laughs> can we, forever. Can we see maybe? A yeah, just tiny get, bit of get that? to that it's part. Right, it's right now. It's right there. Chap. Right oh, it's coming up. This yeah, is one, it. Twenty minutes. Yeah, oh, the music. That's in there. I still feel the Paul in this car. I'm trying not to laugh. Laying across the leaves. You're asleep. asleep. He fell asleep in his car. Yeah, with yeah, I'm picking off easy prey. Now, now it's just him, shirtless, badly tied up to a chair, bouncing around like a cartoon character. So what? You is this? Put, did you kill him and then put his shirt back on and then? No, I got what? him. He was he drugged out from uh, a night of. Oh god! I had no. And I got him. That day, I wasn't getting. My message across, but that pig. Well, wait a minute. Now you're so both talking. Now you're talking monstrous. on screen and off screen. <laughs> right. Wait a minute. Now, now you're now you're There's, fucking narrating and talking at the same time. I I as a not on purpose. No, it's because you just fucked that. You as like, a oh. psycho, I did no. yeah. edit and I did look at my, my this and prepare uh, it. And he rips off like Clerks. Clark's I was about to say, <laughs> yeah. why are you ripping off Kevin Smith with the uh, with yeah. the dramatic title cards with with the wording like on words on there and then going uh, to different well, scenes like. Off Kevin people Smith. way before that. I mean, like, he, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, Kevin, yeah, we're not we're not arguing Kevin Smith's you know f filmatic uh, integrity. We're talking about your <laughs> yes. piece of garbage. <laughs> I'm saying that these are things that are not used that often, and they need to be yeah. brought back from time to time. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll throw it in there. Sure, why not? Yeah, uh huh. And yeah. what am I saying? Interesting <clears throat> things, you know, uh, musical terms which comment on the action. Not what? How? What comment? There's no comment being made. <laughs> Agitated with excitement. Agitate. Oh, you mean the word comment? The words you actually wrote upon the screen? <laughs> yes. Ah, no, you know, right. Message. Well, let her rip. Cross anyhow. Any credence to any of you worthless scum? But I will appreciate you enough to avoid the moral bankruptcy of obscenity. I'll tell you, you cocksucker! I'll be 
leaping out anything that he has oh to my say. God. Because that's not exactly part of my message. This, by the way, to goes on for that. how long? How oh, long it's is probably this? probably a 15 thing? minute scene. Yes, 15 oh minutes. God. 15 <laughs> minutes of just what you're seeing right here. Oh, my it's, God. It's Paul trying to get out of the shit of the shitty tie job he jiggles and curses for 14 and a half minutes yeah just uh, jiggling and saying fuck you let me out of here you fucking coke saga fuck you fuck you uh, and and then uh paulo is just rambling through the whole thing uh, uh i think we're pretty uh, well engaged in this thing. back and forth because he can't no, it's terrible. Some sort of a statement look how bored he gets uh, between strugglings yeah he kind of looks around like are we done now <laughs> Okay, so then he does that. He looks at people off camera. Yeah, he, he looks at the cameraman. Oh, oh. there goes another special shot, a little insert What's there. What's problem, Dick? Looking I, at I no filter Paul's camera, legs. Adjusted the camera. Fuck you! Fuck you! Because I'm not. And we're still on that shot. <laughs> we're still sitting on this insert shot of his legs. Why are we looking at this? Because this is clearly uh, something Dick. that What's would not be in a normal film. You won't see a shot oh, completely God. ill fra framed like that. This, Am I correct or not? Uh, what the fuck is, is happening here, Louis C.K.? That's what's happening in this movie. What the fuck is happening? Do you no, understand? No, you, you, can't. Can't. you didn't no. try. You didn't try. <laughs> you didn't try. That's didn't exactly try. it. There wasn't any effort to. No, you didn't try. I you swear. Got sleepy. I swear. <laughs> you <laughs> felt sleepy. Look, it happens all the all time. You're making Gap. a movie and you go, oh, fuck. I, I, could I just get out of here? And then you go, wait a minute. I got to at least try to. I need, even if I'm trying to do something shoddy, I got to try to do the best version of it. I yeah. need everybody out there. I took somebody's $5,000. Gap the spent, movie. Spent it on a fucking, some Use weird clothes that I bought. Promo code. Uh, Holy shit. I, need, I, I think need. we're finally even with Ron and Fez. <laughs> and wow. Earl, for the Earl thing. <laughs> Holy shit! It is ex exactly what what uh, uh, Louis said. It it's not like yeah, you're looking, going, "Holy shit, what is this?" No, you would do that if the movie was done well and and no, someone gave a shit about yeah. it, and then you would look and say, "Wow, what is this? This is kind of weird." And mm -hmm. this is like you just didn't put effort into it. You you said you wanted to make a care. movie. That's the problem. There was more effort in you saying, I oh. want to make a movie, than making the movie. This yeah. is an anti-film. It is meant no. to... No. Just keep saying this. What is an anti-film, <laughs> well, What I need way. you to understand is, is that it's it means it doesn't still use picture. the editing process. I no, mean, that's not the case. Yes, but no, here, you, you see, care. when you... you it, <laughs> When you see a film, most people are willing to put the suspension of belief into a film. They know the process of making a film that has all these edits. Uh, Here, we take the editing out. No, you don't, because you edit a lot in this scene. <laughs> yeah, you edit it. That's the thing. Him. You do just enough to show that you didn't give a shit. We walk to the camera. <laughs> just enough. Turn it off. Turn it back on with a different shot. Spike it's Lee made a movie called uh, Get on the Bus. Mm -hmm. About all the guys, black guys going to the Million Man million March. march right. It's about as simple a movie as you could ask for. Cheap, cheap video camera, and it's just single shots of dialogues. It's fucking great because it's low in scope and in, it's not trying to do much. Right. It's just some dialogue, and but, uh, there's no lighting, and some scenes are hard to look at because they're so dark. I was on a bus. And it's went, oh, <laughs> Man March. I so then, so that must mean this movie's good because <laughs> you took a bus once. But he cared about the movie. I went to the Million Man March on a bus. Louis right. was okay, making so a point. So then you're right. It's a good movie. You're right. It's a good movie. Louis, your point being. The point is that that every that's there are many many movies that do what he says he's doing, <laughs> right. which is let's do away with editing. It's say editing is a is a pre pretense. Right. The dog editing is school. a trick. Let's take the school the the the, the tricks out. Uh, you know, let's not have a lot of people do that. That's not what this is. The, the caring, the, the caring about it. No let's take that out. Just no effort. The effort. Let's just remove any effort and work that yes, goes behind. Yes, the dogma it. people that you the just mentioned, exactly. and it's even more offensive that you have the education and know better. <laughs> Dog <laughs> the dogma people. <laughs> Because sometimes you see a movie like Out of the Mouth of Babes, you know, you see a movie made by some people that didn't know what the fuck they were doing, and it, there's there's a beauty to looking at it because of how how tragically fucked up it was. <laughs> they didn't know how to do it. That's even better. See that? This I isn't thought, even that. I thought I was gonna get a little of that when I watched this. I was go I was going like, wow, maybe this will be <laughs> fucked up enough where it's hysterical, but it just was fucked up. And it went on and on. He's deep. Wow. I think he's rimming. <laughs> Poor he's guy. Rimming right <laughs> <laughs> I love how Jimmy jumps when you wake he, him up. He's my he's my right hand man right now. I just you know what it is. I, it's just like ever, ever, I don't want to wreck the movie, man. Because everybody's 
You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be I doing just, when you watch this movie. Yes. <laughs> Jimmy, I just yeah. touched your lips twice with my hand. You didn't yes. feel it. Did yeah. you? That's how sleepy you were. Yeah, yeah. I was in his hiney uh, hole, too. So. Gap yeah. in consciousness seems to be with the... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I need a little bit of sugar on a piece of it. Louis... And this guy I, can't even defend you ironically without falling truthfully, asleep. Truthfully, you're busting my balls. <laughs> truthfully, you're busting my you're balls. Right. You're not really giving me the benefit of that. Right. It's no. like if you walked in he's out being, of the rain into a theater and he, saw this movie. I go he's back out into the Jesus rain. Honest. If it was raining AIDS, I'd go back out and open my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'd look up at it like a turkey and drown in AIDS rain. <laughs> <laughs> After watching three frames of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and run back out into the acid rain and let it eat my body. That's, that's Gle gleefully. Balls. I'm sorry. Thank God yeah. Louie was here for this today because oh. we didn't know how to handle this this horse shit. Paulo, oh, fantastic. Uh, I think we're going to wrap up. Yes, sir. Paulo, uh, where can people get the movie? All right. Gapthemovie.com. I need you to buy this movie because my life is fucked up. There's a Ron Fez. Not because it's a good movie. Yeah. No. It, it is. It's exactly what Steven Spielberg and the rest of them say. Yeah. Time will prove Please you buy this movie all wrong, I need except, of course, by one <laughs> yeah. supporter. But I'm just saying. I'll give you $100 right now if you promise never to do this again. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take 145000 right now. <laughs> um, again, GapTheMovie.com. Maybe, maybe I can. <laughs> Ron Fez is the promo code. Uh, I, I do thank you promo for the opportunity. Code. You know, I feel that if enough people buy this movie, there will be a swell, a sure. ground swell. Uh, mm. Movement from this. I swear to God. I swear to God. Sure. I mean, we're by time a grassroots sure. effort is what you need. When exactly. You, get a, a, a you know, this is how a lot swell. of the movement started. Yeah. They started small, mm -hmm. like you know, Hitler back in the third. <laughs> no, <laughs> right. You got to take the bad with the good. <laughs> right. Again, bad, uh, bad analogy. Hitler was. <laughs> He'll love or hate him. <laughs> that man could work a beer hall. He knew what he was doing. <laughs> yes. I have he had some he passion. He designed his own clothes. I mean, the guy was a fucking, he, he had a knack. I haven't gotten. He did have a passion he knew for what he, what he, he did. He at. He knew what he wasn't good at. I haven't gotten to the beer school, uh, beer hall uh, stage of the marketing. No, you, that, no you had right, it. You're yeah, still no, World War no. One Hitler. All right. With a funny hat. <laughs> so you're gonna Painting. do. You're gonna stick around and uh, you're doing Ron and Fez today, noon to yes, three. Sir. So hopefully, oh, I can't wait hopefully to hear you go back to doing stunts for Ron and Fez. Thank you, sir. And let's, um, let's go around the room and get the fuck out of here. Um, well, by the way, oh no, he farted again. Or is that just the stench coming off of the movie? <laughs> 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 smell vision They finally perfected it. <laughs> uh, first, let me throw Direct TV in. We got a few plugs. Uh, the the the. Horseshit review for Gap was brought to you by DirecTV. Call 888-961-DirecTV. DirecTV. Call 888-961-DirecTV. Paulo, uh, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you, but it was good radio. I can tell you that much. Well, I, I appreciate it. And believe me, the movement, uh, this will be the... the, 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 the this is going to be no more. Day Absolutely. one. This is day one. Absolutely. The, yeah. It's a great movie. Um, I think a glacier is going to move faster than your movement. <laughs> for the same movie. It starts small and then mushrooms mm -hmm. and yeah. snowballs. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, what do we got, Jimmy? Well, Louis got Caroline's tomorrow night. He's doing a benefit for a school, but it's just Louis doing his act. I'm also in March 14th at the Orpheum. Yeah. And I have. Um, Boston. I'm doing a show with Artie Lang in uh, February 21st uh, at Tower Theater in Philadelphia. Tickets go on sale this Friday morning uh, at, uh, I guess, LiveNation.com or whatever. Take it, Master. Cool. Because we're leaving, we got to do a Pro Flowers read. Oh! Hi, we like Pro Flowers. It's going to just sound a little weird just shoving it in here. But hey, it's not even a read. We're just bringing it up. Yeah, we were flowing with uh, the Gap thing. And, and we just decided, thing. you know something, Valentine's Day <laughs> is coming up. Yeah, sure and, is. Uh, you want to get your sweetie something? Sure. What are you going to do? You're going to wait till the last minute and freak out. That's what everybody does. Mm -hmm. You could order now from Pro Flowers. Get it out of the way. Get 18 red roses and a free ruby red vase. Mm. Only thirty nine, ninety nine. And then, like, Valentine's Day is a couple of weeks away. Mm -hmm. Now you're done. Stress-free. You're not freaking Easy. out for uh, a couple of weeks. And it's something good that she's really going to uh, admire. And they figured out the flowers in the mail thing. Yep. I'm telling you, because we order from uh, these people all the time, and the flowers are like, I don't know how they do it. It's amazing. You're going to be very happy. The listeners have done this over the years. They know it. 
they know what we're talking about. Proflowers.com. And what, they got the promo code thing? Yes, the promo code. Uh, you go to proflowers.com. You click on that microphone. It's in the upper right-hand corner. Right. Go ahead. I'll wait. I, mm-hmm. I promise you, if you go to bro, uh, proflowers.com, you won't have to buy uh, Gap. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah. You won't have to buy Gap. But you can do both. Oh. No, no. <laughs> They, they're, 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 these guys don't have much money, so it's either Flowers or Gap, and I highly recommend they get their flowers for their love. Proflowers.com. Yeah. Click on the microphone in the upper right-hand corner, and uh, you type in Opie, O-P-I-E. Or you could call them, 1-800-PRO-FLOWERS, P-R-O-FLOWERS, and mention Opie. Just say Opie. They'll be like, what? <laughs> no, they'll, they'll know. Uh, <laughs> and you're going to get beautiful flowers, 18 red roses, free ruby red vase, only thirty nine ninety nine. It's the early bird deal. It expires uh, Friday, so don't be waiting. This is your chance. You can do it right now. Do it right now. Yeah. I'll wait. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Shh. All right. 1-800-PRO-Flowers. <laughs> God, they never remember the number. Or proflowers.com. Right. Uh, click on the microphone. Type in Opie. Louie, it was a pleasure. I hope we didn't uh, no, make you suffer too much with no, this movie no, thing. But you were perfect ball. for the reviewing of <laughs> the movie. Good you luck. Good luck with film. it, sir. Good he does luck. understand film. I have. I I I look, I, you know, good luck to you. And Louis, come see you soon before you hit the road again. All right? <laughs> yes, I will. The great Louis C.K. Everybody.